buying homebrew stuff on Amazon, the pluses and minuses about buying stuff on Amazon, because it's all there. Pretty much everything's on there. You can buy hops, you can buy equipment, you can buy recipe stuff, grain, dry malt extract, um, rice holes. Here's the thing about buying on Amazon. It is absolutely great if you are buying equipment. Absolutely. Especially what we just talked about earlier with, with the Prime, the free shipping and getting it sometimes the next day. I've bought a lot of stuff. Inkbird, muslin bags. I think a burner, burner for sure. Um, it's the ch probably the most competitive prices, you know, 30 bucks for an Inkbird or 50 bucks for a Bayou burner. Very good, very good. You don't have to leave your house and it shows up within a day. And then there's the things that are a nightmare to buy on Amazon. And generally I think it's the stuff that weighs the most. So, like, gr grain and rice holes and dry malt extract and stuff. I always have all three of each of those. Like, um, I think dry malt extract is like 10 bucks a pound on Amazon. Let's pull that up. Dry malt extract comes in different styles. Pilsner, amber, dark, pale ale. Malt extract. 12.95 for a pound. Okay, this is looks makes a little bit more sense. $17 for three pounds. Breeze or Bryce, dry malt extract, golden light, one pound, 11.24. No, it's like $3 at my local homebrew store. I can get a three pound bag for $10. So, uh, and again, this is a, this is a California thing or, or a, um, ex maybe just an accessibility thing. If you have a local homebrew store that's that's close to you that's good enough sometimes you're gonna want to buy there and some things last forever like flour or um you know as long as it doesn't get wet and you're keeping it in, in an airtight container dry malt extract is it's just sugar it's just you know keep keep that stuff airtight in a bag and in, in a in the bag it comes in and throw it in um, a plastic thing or a plastic tupperware thing it's gonna be good for a lifetime maybe not a lifetime but it's gonna be good for a long time um, hops, I, um, I'm, I'm always just afraid of buying hops by the pound. Oh yeah, totally. Definitely do not buy hops on Amazon. Eight ninety nine for one ounce of El Dorado BSG. No. What the fuck? But here we go. Then there's homebrewing Ohio U.S. Centennial one pound hops for twenty dollars. That's a pretty good price. That's a pretty good price. When I used to buy hops by the pound, it'd be around sixteen to eighteen dollars. You pretty much want to do about a dollar an ounce. But if you buy it by the ounce, it's going to be at least three dollars. So I'd figure out if you're buying hops, I'd figure out how to buy those by the pound. Uh, buying hops by the ounce is very, very scary. Very, very expensive. Um, so I'm going to keep hops kind of out of the Amazon kind of equation. Um, I wouldn't... I, I pretty much only buy liquid yeast from homebrew stores. Or I get it from my friend's breweries. But if you want to buy dry yeast... Yeah, I'd buy it off Amazon. I think I got the Philly Sour off Amazon. Dry yeast, you don't have to worry about getting it in a day or putting ice packets around it none of that and if the price is good pull the trigger on it so that being said amazon for home brewing stuff yes for equipment i wouldn't recommend it for hops yes for dry yeast definitely not grain definitely not um let's look at rice holes rice holes are nothing Okay, definitely not rice holes. Amazon's choice, $10.61 for one pound of rice holes. Rice holes are nothing. 
It's the skeleton of a of a rice grain. It's it's the it's the lobster tail. It's the snake skin. Eleven dollars for one pound of rice holes. This is probably the worst thing to buy on Amazon. My homebrew store sells it for a dollar a pound. I get five pounds for five dollars. If I would have bought five pounds on this, it would have been fifty-five dollars. This is a little bit cheaper. Five pounds for thirty dollars. Okay, yeah. So rice holes, no. Grain, no. Dry malt extract, no. Anything that probably comes in a bag that looks like flour or looks like some baking material, no. Equipment, yeah. So um, don't be confused on Amazon just because it says like Amazon's Choice or Prime or it's got five out of five star reviews. No, some of this stuff is five to ten, five to ten times the amount. $11 for a pound of rice holes? Amazon's choice? Brutal. Let's look up two row. Oh, God. Two row, five pounds, milled. $15. No, that's over $3 a pound. You want to be paying about $1.50 a pound. Yeah. So just to reiterate, pretty much in short, pretty much in short, equipment and dry yeast, everything else, you're going to get ripped off.